Hi, I'm Brett Hitchcock from the first semester senior design team for the cost management software, and this is a walkthrough to properly configure TARS. I'm running a fresh install of Windows 7 Home, so as long as you're doing the same, this walkthrough should work no problem. So to start off, we're going to need some installation files, and you should probably start by downloading SQL Server 2008 Express and the SQL Management Studio. These are both about 250 megabytes total, and there should be links in the description. We also want to download msysgit, or git windows, which we will set up now. Alright, so let's install git windows. And for this tutorial I will primarily be using git bash, which is basically just a Unix terminal clone. And that looks good. Alright. So first let's try to get a copy of the current state of TARS. So go to the desktop, make directory TARS, and let's try to get clone, get it github.com, icbm, TARS. Now because we have not yet properly set up the RSA keys, this should fail. Alright, awesome. So in your users username .ssh folder, this is where your RSA stuff is generated. I generated a new one so it would fail as though one was not detected. So let's create a new one and then add it to GitHub. So ssh keygen type RSA and for this you want to use your email that you are using with GitHub. In my case it's the vandals at uidaho.edu. Default. Yep. And the passphrase is what you would normally have to enter every single time you want to access this RSA key, like whenever you push or pull. I am just going to leave it blank. Alright, so now that we have a new one generated, we want to open it up and copy this without any new lines or white space, and then put that into GitHub. You should already have a GitHub account set up by now, and it's very, very easy to get one set up. So logged in, go to account settings, SSH public keys, and I already have a Windows one that I'm going to edit, but if you don't, just add another public key. Delete that, and paste. All right, so now that that is in GitHub, and I am a collaborator of TARS, I should be able to get it to work now. All right, so let's see if that's working. All right, and we have the latest version of TARS in here. All right, and before I forget, we need to put a little configuration information in this. So git config, global username. This is just information that Git needs, so when you push, it says who is pushing it on GitHub. Alright, so let's install IIS 7. So we go to Control Panel, Programs and Features, Turn Windows Features on and off, and Internet Information Services. Now at a bare minimum, we want to go to Worldwide Web Services, and turn on everything in application development features and common HTTP features. So get that and that. And this should be enough to just have everything work perfectly with no errors whatsoever. All right, so now that, that should be installed, let's have a look at HTTP localhost. All right, so now we know that IIS is working because now we have a fancy default page. And this is located at C 
INET pub web root. And what you just saw was IIS start, and this is where you put all that fancy stuff. Alright, so now we want to begin by installing the SQL Management Studio. And you can mostly ignore that. It shouldn't be a huge problem. Installation, standalone. Okay, so once you get to this screen, you absolutely want to hit Management Tools Basic. This will install a uh, program that lets you easily modify the SQL database. And try to do this on the first go, because on the second or third, we have run into issues. Yeah, sure, why not. Looks good. Awesome. Alright, so now that we have SQL Management Studio installed, let's try to install SQL Server. Installation, standalone. And even though this looks the same as the previous entry, this will take you to a different install. And let's add all those just for the hell of it. Okay, and let's call this MS SQL Server. Okay, so the one change we may need to make on this page is to make this NT authority slash system. And that should work. All right. So for this part, we want to enter mixed mode. Oops. Actually, no, I take that back. We want Windows authentication mode. And that, oops. Okay, so add current user, Windows authentication mode, next. Sure, why not? Looks good. All right, good to go. Perfect.